Hey, what is up guys? Bonds here today. In this video, I'm going to be showing the results of the sample making contest I just finished. Um, this is a really, really fun contest. Basically, the idea of it was that you guys were going to send in samples to me, and then I'm going to compile them all into one giant sample pack. I'm going to review who is the best sample maker, and then I was also going to give away that giant sample pack to you guys for free. So right now, if you check the description, you can actually find a down link. It's just a Google Drive link, and you can get the entire sample pack for free. Unzipped, this thing is 1.5 gigabytes, which is super duper duper huge. I'm going to be showing you the best samples right now. Let's get into it. Woo! If we just open the sample up, you can actually automatically see there are just tons and tons and tons of samples in here. Um, there are just under 125 samples in here, which is actually a crazy, crazy, crazy number. Thank you guys so much for sending in your stuff. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show off this top five sample makers and I'm going to play their samples. And I'm going to react to them and then I'm going to announce who's the official winner. And also real quick, I'd like to mention that just because I said you're number five does not mean you're the fifth one. You could have been the second one and that since two through five get the same prize, I'm just going to count them all as five through two. If you got like number five in the competition, you could have been number two you could have been number three um it's just that you were in the top five and that's all that matters okay so number five is flute zone by icy beats let's check it out I love all of like the really quick rolls he has on the flute and also how the delay feature kind of like just really adds like some atmosphere to it Oh, it also looks like he like stemmed them all out so you can actually like cut it into pieces and then just take individual sounds so I can totally see a really really hard trappy on that especially the super awesome flute that's a crazy crazy submission thank you icy beats okay now let's check out disc by id beats um let's just check it out super super duper filtered down Flute is so clean. I always think it's really really cool to do reversing things in here um really really good job making the reverse thing that's a great little touch right there completely changed it up right there thank you for sending that in 90 beats super duper clean i'm sure i'm gonna make a really fire beat out of that one next mission is guitar sample by 8-bit let's check it out super fire I really love the bass he has in there. It's like do 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 do. Super duper awesome job on the bass. Eight bit is always on my live streams, and we were actually talking about bass guitars and stuff like that. And he's definitely using octaves on his bass guitar, which is why I recommend using when I'm using my bass guitars. I'm not sure if he used that trick because of me or if he just already knew the trick, but I really love what you did with the bass. Right, okay, so Prod27 sent in Like Whoa, and I thought that was really, really smart because in the last competition, I mentioned that I really liked the melody he had on his beat. So what he did was he just took the melody out of that beat and sent it into the competition, and genius, now he's in the top five. <laughs> I can totally hear his beat on this on the sample. <laughs> I don't remember hearing this kalimba on the original um, song, but this kalimba is super awesome. That's good panning too. I want to make a beat so bad right now. These samples are so awesome. Okay, so those were places two through five, and they were 8-bit, ID Beats, IC Beats, and Prod27. So each of them is going to get two collabs with me, and all of those songs are all going to come together to make one giant album. 
and that album is going to be posted on my Spotify, on my SoundCloud, on all my platforms, and it's going to be a really awesome album. And also the person I'm going to announce in just a second who got first place is going to be getting a video collab with me so we can actually do a video collab on YouTube. And he's also going to have two songs on that giant album. Okay, so the overall winner of this competition was actually Bray Baguette, and I'm going to be showing off his beat right here. Let's just check it out. It's crazy stuff. This one is called Hammer and Drill, and it's super duper awesome. Like, it just it totally completely sets the vibe. It's super duper dark and mellow, and just. And here's the crazy part the Beret Baguette didn't just send one crazy melody, he also sent several others. Let's check out some other ones. What El Queso? Which reminds me of some sort of like Simon Servita kind of sample. Like, you can totally make a super duper bouncy trap beat on that one. I'm really looking forward to changing up that sample. Woo! Super duper bouncy, super duper dark, super duper spooky, really awesome stuff there. And here's the last one I'm gonna show off by him. Like some boom bap kind of stuff. He sent in 11 samples and 7 of them were in the top 12. It's actually crazy. He sent in such great stuff. To check him out, the link to all of these samples are in the description. I wasn't planning on doing this at first, but now I'm actually going to make a drill beat using this hammer and drill sample. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. Let's just do that real quick. Start with the snare. This is going to be a vibe. Add some gliding in here. Why don't we go like right here? Translate that and up an octave, glide there. I'm gonna play around these open hats. Um, So the goal of this video was not to make a drill beat, even though this thing is fire. Okay, so Luca was the winner of last competition, and he sent him the Samba loop. Listen to this one here. I really, I, th I really think that's super duper fire, and I think you can make a super duper duper bouncy kind of trap beat on this one. Um, this is definitely like Luca style. <laughs> Let's check out Mafia by Young Carl. I can hear some really, really cool reversing things on that, and that would be a really, really fire melody. Um, I might flip this one later. This is actually pretty good melody. Josh Marriott sent in a couple samples, but let's check out Jazzy Melody right here. Super duper clean chords. 
put some like reverse stuff on here. It's super awesome. Comes in the melody. Super duper clean, super duper jazzy. If you want to flip the sample, I'm sure you could. Um, this is a really, really cool one. Really, really good chords in there. Thank you for that, Josh Marriott. Video game by Keanu. Alrighty. Just keeps laying your own sounds. Some of the sound selection could probably be changed on that one, and it doesn't really sound super full. Um, but good chords there. Um, keep working on it, can you? Um, it's definitely a good sample. I'm sure someone in there could flip it. Um, definitely not a bad sample at all. Thank you for that, can you? Let's check out Holy by Olen. Check out Holy. Thank you for that ONS. For some reason, the very last couple of notes were actually cut off, which is kind of weird. Um, but anyway, um, thank you for sending that in. Maybe a different sound selection would be chosen, but I'm sure you could reverse something in there and it sound really, really cool. Thank you for that. Let's check out Long by JRD Mindset. That's literally all it is. It's just a synth bass playing. Dun, 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 dun. Um, really, 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 really simple. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you can make something on top of that, but it's pretty, it's almost too simple to turn into a full entire melody. Let's check out Rain by Pi Beats. Ooh. that's a very very interesting melody it keeps changing and keeps adding new layers and new parts and stuff like that um really really cool synth line i love doing that kind of like gliding kind of synth i do a lot of my beats and you can actually see some of my melodies in here um how about i play some of my melodies real quick <laughs> let's check out this sample abc by me I tried to make another one of those really ambient kind of melodies. Um, this one had more of a metronome kind of sound with this bass, but. I'm a huge fan of that kind of stuff and you can flip that however you want. Let's check out Japanese Email Melody by Circuit. Very, very simple melody, but I'm sure that you can make a really, really fire thing out of that. Or even if you just took this audio, turn it to MIDI, and then did something like that, this would be a really, really fire sample. Thank you for that circuit. Here's You Are Gone by Oppression. The strings in here doesn't really sound that realistic, but the rest of this sounds really, really like ambient and kind of cool. You have some really, really cool chords in there. I think in my melodies, I need to be focused more on my chords. Um, how can I really tell a story with my chords and then add stuff on top of that? Um, you definitely were telling a story with these chords. Thank you for that oppression. Let's check out Lo-Fi Broken Record by Pirate Beats. Sounds super analogy, like really, really, really vintagey kind of thing. It sounds really, really, really dirty in that kind of way. Really, really awesome stuff right there. Really crazy. I'm sure someone can chop this thing up, flip it into a really awesome boom bap or lo-fi lo kind of thing. Um, you have really ambient kind of like just random swelling kind of sounds. Thank you for sending that melody pirate beats. It really, it really means a lot to me that you were sending in something. Let's check out Kane by Rayford Reed. Super duper duper filter down. It's actually really really quiet. The 
top lead on this thing doesn't really have enough reverb, I feel like. It just kind of sounds a little bit dry compared to this really, really atmospheric kind of bottom thing. Oof. So many crazy chords in there. Thank you for sending that in, Rayford Reed. Um, you sent in a lot of samples. Check out all the stuff in the thing. I think just to top it all off, let's listen to Never Again, um, made by me. Ugh. It's a really, really crazy effect you can do in Chair Box. Basically, it's instead of doing half time, you're making it like double speed. So you're pitching up an octave and you're also making it twice as fast. Anyway, thank you guys so much for sending in your samples. Um, it really means a lot to me that you were able to do this together. Thank you to 8 bit, thank you to ID Beats, thank you to IC Beats, Prod27, and also Brave Baguette. Thank you for you guys for sending the craziest samples ever. I'm really, really digging this beat I made with this sample. Tell me what you think about this beat in the comment section and make sure you download the sound facts. See you guys later. See you next week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And I also have two live streams a week. Hit the subscribe button. See you guys later. Woo!